everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my super unimpressive update for my challenge this year. I am attempting to do 100 eyeshadows on the year and um, yeah, I do have some more that I finished since the last update, but y'all aren't going to think it's very impressive because I only finished two. I'm going to show you what those two are or the pans of what these two are. The first one is um, Celebrity. It is from the Depotted Profusion Eyes Palette. It was, um, I used it as a warm transition shade. It was, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It was, I don't know, kind of like a, a warm tan color. And um, it was nice. I enjoyed it. And um, actually, um, it was in my repress video, my last repress video. And, um, you know, if you want to see what color that was. And this one, not the same pan, they look the same, but they're not. This one is much larger. This was from the Real Her Be Your Own Beauty palette, and the color was fabulous. It was kind of just like a shimmer champagne color. I love this one, but um, thankfully I have a dupe in my collection, which is, I think it's Spiked Eggnog from the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice palette. Yes, it's this shade right here. That's what it looked like, and that's like almost an identical dupe. So I can continue to use it. Um, so, <laughs> unimpressive, very unimpressive, this sweatshirt. Does anybody else have that where their hoodies just kind of like travel back? I don't know, maybe it's just my hair weighing it down. Who knows? Um, so now I am at a total of five on the year. Very unimpressive. I still have 95 to go. Um, the first three that I finished were the Laura Mercier Rose Gold Caviar Stick. Um, the Bare Minerals Emphasize It. It was the Loose Shadow. And the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons Cashew Chew. So, five done. Not super impressive, like I said. But I am not someone that pans looks. So my usage gets spread out through a lot of eyeshadows throughout the year. So I usually start really slow and then you will notice in the next few months, my numbers will start to pick up slowly. And by the end of the year, it's like, wow, she's finishing an eyeshadow every single day. It won't be quite that drastic, but it's going to seem like, um, I eat my eyeshadows towards the end of the year. And it's just because of the way that I pan and, um, you just, in the beginning of the year, everything is slow. I'm, I'm using so much stuff, and um, as the year progresses and more and more it gets done, I have less and less um, to spread out, and then I will focus more on individual eyeshadows. That's just, that's how I pan. It, it works out for me. It's part of the reason why I like long-term projects, because I do like to kind of flit around from palette to palette or from color to color, and um, this way I can do it and I still get everything done. But um, I'm going to show you a prime example of what I expect to have done next month, which is significantly more than the two that I just showed you. The first one is actually a Franken, but I'm counting it as one eyeshadow because it has one whole eyeshadow and then I put some other stuff into it. It is this right here. And as you can see, I have a very good pan on the outside. I've got some more pan on the inside and it's incredibly thin. And I know this is going to be done by the next update. I know for a fact that one is going to be done. Same with this next one. This is from the Jane Iredale palette. I just repressed this, but you can see just how low it is in the pan. And um, I use this one every single day. I set my primer with it, my eye primer to be clear. Um, and there's hardly any, any in it. I just pressed this last night or repressed it last night. I would say in the next few days, I'm going to have pan in it again. That's how thin it is. And if I'm not done that, that means I wasn't wearing makeup because there's not a lot in there. Um, another one is a Franken, but I do have another whole eyeshadow in it. I just hit pan on this one today. So you can see how super thin that is. I am pretty daggone sure this one is going to be done. This one's from the Sephora Colorista palette. Major pan. Um, this is going to get repressed probably in the next few days because it is starting to get really thin and 
really only on the edges. And I think even after the repress, it's going to go quick. I use it every day to deepen my outer crease or to set my eyeliner. It gets used every single day. Um, sometimes I will use it like in my crease, outer V, like I said, on my um, to set my eyeliner. I sometimes will smoke out my lower lash line. In, in some form or fashion, that eyeshadow will get used every single day until it is gone. So that leaves me with these next ones. This one is not from this Four Colorista palette, even though it looks like it. This was just a pressed eyeshadow sampler, and it had a lot in it, but I am getting good use out of it. I think once that dark brown is done, this one's going to be the next one that I use in some form or fashion every single day. I, I like to have some kind of a darker shade to play with to smoke out the um, lower lash line, to um, do my outer V crease, you name it. That's how I'm going to use it. This is the only one that I feel kind of borderline about. This is Toasted Almond from the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. This is a repress. Um, this one's the one that I'm not certain about because even though it has good usage, everyone knows, um, mattes from Too Faced, they just notoriously take a long time. But since I finished this warm transition shade, this one is a very neutral transition shade for me. So this is probably the only transition shade that I'm going to be using until it's gone. So... It may or may not be done. I'm going to guess that it probably will be done because of how I use it so and, and how I use it every single day. So if I can finish the ones that I just showed you, that is going to be six for the next update. That is going to be my prediction. This might be my only holdout is the Too Faced one, but um, I'm going to say that I'm probably going to have five to six done by the next update. Total guess here, I don't know. Oh, this, I love this hoodie because it's flash, but mm, it just keeps riding back on me. It's all this hair, I'm sure of it. Um, all right, so yeah, that was my kind of uneventful update for this, but I think next month, I think I'm going to have lots more empties next month. So keeping my fingers crossed. Let me know if you guys are doing this challenge. I know Amanda is doing it because, um, you know, I kind of threw the gauntlet down for her after she did the 70 eyeshadow thing to me last year. So I retaliated with 100 eyeshadows for this year. And hopefully, hopefully I am not eating my words because um, I'd almost rather eat eyeshadow than eat my words. So I'm gonna be working really hard on the six that I just showed you. And during that time, I'm gonna to continue to work on my other eyeshadows so that hopefully when I do my update next month, I will be able to show you, hey, look, these have a ton of usage, usage Jessica usage and um you know maybe these are the next ones that are going to be on their last legs and out the door so who knows but let me know if you are doing this challenge even if it's a smaller number if you have a specific number of eyeshadows that you're trying to get out of your collection this year let me know down in the comments and let me know how you're doing i'm going to put amanda's information down there so you can go check her out show her some love cheer her on she's the queen she's the eyeshadow queen she really is because she is much more creative in how she uses her eyeshadows. She does them as like um, lash toppers, which I think is awesome, but I am one of those people that gets major fallout all the time, so I don't do it because I'm constantly on the go, and I already get looks at preschool. I don't need, you know, that raccoon look because I put like purple on my eye, or on my eyelashes, so. I, I, don't, I don't multitask as many ways as Amanda does, but it works for her. It totally works for her. But um, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm rambling. I don't know if you can hear that noise out there. My husband and my kids are watching like movie trailers and I'm missing it. I'm missing it. But I'm here talking to you guys. So it's all good. It is all good. But it's starting to get loud out there. So I'm going to wrap this up. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day. Mm -hmm.